Good morning, welcome to new preparation. My name is Narendran. To join me on WhatsApp group, I'm charging 500 rupees per month. You will get advanced prediction details as well as calls in the group. If you like my research, if you want to support my research, you can donate me using this Google Pay and Phone Pay and Paytm. If you want any query, you can WhatsApp me in the same GPA number 9940116912. Let's go to the Nifty. How it has closed on Friday. Nifty ended up in the flat negative 15,923.40, 0 0.80 points in the negative, 0 0.01 percent in the negative opened around 15,958.35 uh, it went down around 15,882.60 and I went around 15,962.25 let's go to our prediction review in our data all indications are shown in the positive but we given that a uh, three warning signal for the bearish is there so we need to play much more cautiously and you must have to keep both options in hand whenever we get all four indications or one side means there is a uh, possibility that the market might have uh, chances to go extremely bullish but uh, the pre-opening needs to support that by opening even one point it has opened a one point uh, above that level from the previous closing which means it is intact with the bullish but there are three warning signal for the bearish market that is where the restrictions comes and it is uh, not going beyond 15,006 uh, I mean 15,006 uh, sorry 15,962.25 so uh, it is uh, restricting the market towards to a certain level why because we saw so many times uh, I am repeating again and again anything opens below the V2 it is attracting the bearish market and you can see that uh, V2 market level which is not able to break 15,979 so the he is not able to break that is where our uh, predictions uh, gives a clear indication even though the four indications are shown positive but still the bearish warning signal three bearish warning signal which gives us a cautious note the market might have the chances to go down so the basic rules uh, of the uh, excel sheet and are my predictions gives a clear indication i want to uh, clarify the basic rules uh, when, uh, with a specific video tomorrow i'm trying to um, take a video at the same time i want to uh, do a, a one more live session uh, so that the doubts of uh, the clients or doubts of the viewers you can uh, raise uh, your doubts on the live session i'm planning to work out those uh, i'll let you the date when um, uh, I, i'm going to do that and uh, these are all the basic rules which i'm going to explain clearly and i'm trying to make a clear video tomorrow and exactly the uh, uh, v2 level anything below v2 level still the bearish is intact so that particular level is not broken uh, the market has not gone to 55 points in the positive side on friday it is well within the range you can see it is not even broken the bearish open target level 15,644 39 points it has when then market started to fall down and we don't have any kind of uh, support level and we found the resistance level one with that we found out the imaginary support level and multiples of those so it will go multiples of that and exactly that is what happened you can see the low is matched with the data as well with 15,885 so 10 point stop loss range so that is where the market is also sluggish and it, it recovered after the low is matched but there is no support level so it might have the chances to restrict uh, the market to go down if the low is matching with perfect range and uh, the market has recovered a bit from the low and closed in the range of 15,900 23. Let's go to our group calls. What are the calls we given? Uh, we wanted to buy both options 16,200 call option at the same time 15,750 call uh, put option both put together and uh, we exited uh, uh, in the put option and both after a certain profit. It's not a big profit. We knew it will come down. So we exited somewhere around 30, 31 range. The put option go gone to that level 
and our software is also indicated it is in the bearish zone so it is evenly poised as per the trend to which two but the signal one is showing positive four indications but the uh, trend after the pre-opening it is clearly indicated six dominated by the bearish because of the three warning signals so our software given clear indication that the market having the potential to go down as well so these are all the software which we are tracking right now uh, we are wants our software they can ping me so that i can able to help them what needs to be done and the software is also clear indicated to in the positive green which is frequency average in the positive and pre-opening in the positive but there is a warning signal for the bearish which is three warning signal and the pre-opening clearly below v2 so we saw so many times the v2 anything pre-market opens it is on the downside so that is where the bullish trend is restricted by these three bearish warning signal and the v2 which is much stronger than the pre-opening and the frequency average so uh, the market is started to fall down and uh, our software also booked some small profits uh, and uh, these are all the combinations which we are uh, trying to uh, book and initially uh, uh, i told that 15750 if it is reaching 50 plus we can exit but uh, later i i changed and asked to exit uh, from the market due to nifty is struggling a bit that time it was traded somewhere around uh, 30 31 though so that time i want to exit with a safe range but i risk clients they asked to uh, keep all the positions but still our uh, software of perfect range it was pro in a profit of 1500 and uh, other uh, softwares uh, which uh, these are all the selling of nifty and uh, these are all the selling of bank nifty those are all in the profit around 4000 as well and uh, in the later stage we don't want to buy anything in between because the market is struggling so later stage we asked to buy a combination of uh, 16,050 call option for somewhere around 26 to 29 and 15,800 put option for 32 33 and we are holding the monthly contract of 16,000 put option as well as 15,500 put option uh, for the monthly contract around 324 we bought it this combination and we are expecting uh, Monday uh, some kind of a downfall as well as there are some potential to recover towards the positive around 1.2 two percent in the positive direction but uh, it is not certain that how the pre-opening is going to be there is a potential to go down around not three points on the downside so there is a dilemma between uh, how it is going to open with the pre-opening it is going to be 1.03 percent on the negative side uh, which means uh, one minus 1.03 percent on the negative side it is going to open pre-open uh, or if it is opens negative and go towards 1.30 which means 150 to 160 points downside it is going to go or whether it is going to be open in the positive direction 1.22 percent so we may not know 170 180 points plus it is going to go so that is the reason there is a, a, a possibility of both sides but as of around 8 30 range uh, uh yeah at the time of uh, the market was down around 56 after it is down around 116 in the hdx nifty so it is showing that the market might open in the gap down but still we don't know how it is going to be so that that, that is the reason we are we asked by both options and because both possibilities are there in the monday session as well monday it is showing like uh, uh we have a support level one at 1.03 percent that is what i'm pointing out and this is the data which uh, uh, the market has closed in the range of friday 750 uh, sorry 15,955 with a stop loss of 10 points then 15,965 and then uh, this is the range 15,890 with a stop loss of 10 points 15,888 so those two levels are the high and low for friday that is where the exactly and uh, let's talk about monday uh, level monday data is showing one second positive all four indications are in the positive seven is to four three is to zero positive and weight is 2.67 versus 1.94 and absolute frequency also indicating positive so all four indications are showing positive which means the data is positive but the 
worrying part what are what is the worrying part why we are uh, having both options the data is when the data is all bullish but why we bought both sides and there is a good uh, observation here uh, even though the data is showing bullish but we invested in the pe as well why because this is the support and resistance level normally the resistance level and the support level i mean uh, resistance level one and support level one we keeping the stop loss as a bullish and bearish stop loss the support level one is the bullish stop loss which is having 164 points on the downside normally the support level one will come some somewhere near 10 points 20 points 30 points which means we can keep stop loss and go for a buy but here uh, the weird part is it is having around 1 164 points on the downside which is huge gap so the market is having the potential to go down towards to that particular level around 164 points after that uh, if it is recovering means uh, we can able to book profit in the put option that is the idea because normally the support level one will come somewhere 10 20 30 or 40 range but here it is comes somewhere around 164 which is huge gap down so if the market is goes down at that level we can able to book profit that is the idea but there is no warning signal for the bearish but still we have the pending target all or the pending targets in the downside we don't have any kind of positive pending target we are having around seven to eight negative side pending target that is also one of the reason uh, the second reason is the pivot is there around seven uh 87 points to and frequency is there around 90 points so which means anything below the pivot level market is trading means it will always try to go towards the negative side only so anything breaks up uh, 15 000 uh, 16 000, 10 points or above that level then only market will try to go up but in this specific monday we have a 80 percent day target which is 1.2 two percent which is 194 points in the positive side so that is that is the one uh indication which if the market is open spree market is opens in the positive the market might have the potential to go bullish but still due to this s1 is huge gap down uh we need to keep a small put option always in hand uh, so we want to check how the market is going to be if the market is low getting matched it might have the potential to go extremely bullish from the low around even 200 points or maybe 214 points downside it might go towards to bullish around 250 points as well so a bizarre kind of a market also having potential to trade on monday so we want to keep both options in hand in a safe manner so if you get a double the money or more than 70 80 points in a sides then we can book that profit and keep that other side uh, to wait how the market is going to react so that is the reason we invested 16,050 call option c and 15,800 put option both put together somewhere around uh, 28 to 30 and 30 to 33 something range so we as at present the sjx nifty is showing 160 point downside which means it might open the bearish open target level somewhere around 15,800 gain something like that it is showing but still we want to check how the pre-opening is going to be anything below the v2 level it is in the extreme bearish zone with a stop loss of overall average 16,969 plus 10 points so, so 15,979 sorry I told it it is 16,000 like that but it is 15,979 adding that 10 point stop loss in the range of that particular level so these are all the levels for the uh, extreme uh, bullish and uh, extreme bearish and uh, this is the range which I talked about the 80 percent day normally 80 percent day uh, if it is comes it has a potential to hit most of the day eight out of uh, 10 days it is always hitting but in this scenario if the market is uh, pre-market is opens in the negative then the 80 percent day might have the chances to fail because all four indications are in the positive if the pre-market is in the negative then the 80 percent day having the chances to fail but uh, the scenario which we are talking about the s1 support level one which is having 15,007 59 which is two down 164 points so you must have to keep uh, those options and uh, the uh, the bullish closing and bearish closing these are all the new method which we are for tracking it is only for the tracking purpose the bearish market closing shows 15,769 it will close and the, if the bullish market is uh, 
uh, are catching then it might go 331 points up like that it shows but uh, i don't think 330 point will go but still it has a potential to go extreme bullish from the low towards to the high but these are all the levels which we are tracking recently and there are some interesting point normally what happens is these data if the market is not cutting this <clears throat> this <clears throat> one particular level then it is goes bullish to any extent uh, if it is matching then it is it will oscillate and close somewhere in the range this is one kind of a scenario so we need to track this 15,605 is breaking or not for the bullish market on the other scenario if it is a bearish market then the market will not not going to break this particular level 15,959 it will go down towards to any level it might go even 80 179 and 188 like that it will go and then close somewhere in the range so these are all the levels we are tracking right now but uh, the interesting point is that in this particular level uh, <clears throat> after reaching 15842 then the market may fall down heavily 100 points which is 15743 so if the 15842 is breaking and the market is going down in 15820 something like that then we can buy a put option because market will go further 80 points downside even if it is recovers for example let's talk about if the low is somewhere around 15,820 which means it is gone beyond 20 points or 80 points which means it is giving giving you a advanced signal the market might go towards 179 to 188 which means 15,743 to 15,734 it might go down that is what the impression gives if the market is reaching the low so if the low is like this and market is refer recovering from that particular level towards to flat somewhere 20 30 points in the negative then the market will once again fall down heavily towards to that level so the low is perfectly matched means that is fine for example if the low is perfectly matching 15,842 means we need not to trade for this particular targets so if the low is 15,840 or some 2 points, 3 points here and there means it is fine. We need not to take risk. But if the market is goes down to 8, 20, 8, 10, something like that, then it gives you an impression that the market will go down definitely towards 15,743 and then 15,730 or, or those ranges. So that is the new method which we are tracking. But uh, let's see how things are going on the pre-opening. Uh, we are expecting the gap down around 100 to 116 points but it might open somewhere 50 60 range uh, so we may not know even it might open in the flat positive also uh, we can't uh, predict the pre-opening but still as per the sgx 50 it is showing some kind of a uh, gap down so these are all the points which i elaborated here about what i told about if the market is breaking those levels it might have the potential to go down towards to these two levels and uh, we we need to know that uh, that Wednesday is a holiday, so uh, you must have to book profit. You need not to keep take risk on uh, holding, but still high risk traders can hold because of the, if the potential market is goes down beyond the level, then it, your holding might give you some more profits. But only high risk traders can hold because we have only three trading day sessions because of the holiday on Wednesday, so this week we only have three days of all day and at present the sgx nifty is in the downside around 116 points so whatever we are holding in the 15800 put option we try to book and we uh, we hold that 16050 call option how things are going because after the low side market will recover means we will try to book from this 16,550 as well if the market is goes huge profit in the 15,800 then we will definitely want to book profit because we bought it somewhere around 30 to 33 if it is goes 70 80 or 90 100 120 something like that we need to book profit otherwise we try to <coughs> exit above anything of 60 to 70 range let's see how the market is going to give us on monday you must have to keep both options in and it's not going to be easy to trade on this particular day but still plenty of chances to go down somewhere around 170 to 180 if it is breaking some 90 or 100 points in the gap down 
so it might go 170 to 180 range after that the sharp recovery is also having chances to happen let's see how the market is going to give us on monday thank you